Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HZ. This is video 28, and today we're talking about the Mod Mapper. So let's go to a new preset, add a VCF1, bring our cutoff down a little bit here, and on None, let's select Mod Map 1, and as you notice, we have four of these. So basically, these are modulation modules with up to 128 user-definable values, which is quite a lot and really cool. So this has four different modes. We have Increment, Map Quantize, Map Smooth, and Key. So for the first one, we have Increment, right? So Basically, let's go to this editor and take a look at this. So where this little red bar is right here, that's one of 128. And when it's on increment mode, that means every time we hit a note, it's going to ascend to the next value. So we're basically on the cutoff, right? So let's give it a little bit of value here, something like that. And let's open up this editor again. So every time we hit a note, Wherever this bar is, that's going to be the value that it sends to the cutoff. And as you notice, we can go all the way up to 100 and all the way down to negative 100. And it'll tell you the number that it's on as well. So which is kind of cool. All the way to the right is 128. And the first one obviously is going to be 1, right? Negative 77. So we weren't, weren't really hear anything on that first one. So right now we're on this one, number 23. The next one's 24, which is the value of 21.5 and so on. It kind of just cycles through these things right here. So if we close that and let's say we put mod map on the pitch, right? So let's go to mod map number one, the same one over here, give it some value. We're basically changing the pitch wherever this basically goes. Okay, pretty uh, self-explanatory, I suppose. And key, this one's kind of interesting because if we go to the editor again, this is basically giving every single key its own specific value. So if we hit one note for a while, it's going to be corresponding to this one. Another note, it's going to be this one down over here. So if we think about this for a minute here, we can basically assign a certain value to do something only for that key or really every key that we want to. It might take a little bit of time to set up as you want it to, but you have the possibility to really dial in a patch by you know, setting a certain setting for every single key on your keyboard, which is pretty, pretty crazy that you could even do that in something like this. The next two are going to be map smooth and map quantize. So for now, let's go to map quantize for the first one here. And this is going to be where we're going to be using mod. So this mod category only works in these basically in these map smooth and map quantize mode. So what this kind of does is we're cycling through this right over here based on a certain shape. So we have LFO one active right here. So might as well use LFO one. So let's select this here and go to LFO one. As you can see, this is starting kind of moving really fast. So let's slow this down right here. So basically what's happening is this is moving in the shape of this sine wave. And as it goes through, it's going to basically enter those values. Right, let's go a little bit slower here. Let's go to the editor. Pretty insane. So it's basically moving this back and forth, right? And according to this shape here. So you can draw, like think about crazy shapes you can draw in the LFO and the user definable thing. And you can use that as the mod over here. And it's going to use that shape to cycle through these different values here. And this is on map quantize. So it's easy to hear on the pitch, right? Let's give a little bit more value here. It's very steppy, right? It's very quantized. We can even see that here on the spectrum view. However, if we go to smooth, it's significantly less quantized. It's now smoothed. So that's basically what it does. So now we need to learn how to edit something like this. If we don't want 128, we can always select this here and we can always go to like six or whatever, really whatever we want. We can scroll with our mouse wheel, however, however many of these we want. So in this case, I guess 24 could be fine. So maybe increase the rate a little bit so it kind of moves a little bit. 
So we can go to this editor here, right? So over here, we have kind of a couple of things. So here on the bottom, right, we have our mode over here that we can access. We have the mod, the LFO one that we chose, the steps, and also here in the center, we know what this is going to be affecting, right? So right now we have it on the filter one, which we had before, which is this, even though it's not really doing anything. And then we have it on the tune, which it is doing something mm -hmm. at amount of 24, which we can see right over here, amount is 24. So in the editor, we still have a lot of knowledge or a lot of parameters, a lot of information to us. So we know what's going on. We also have a right click menu with a lot of stuff in here. So we can copy stuff. We can have shapes in here. We can make it this assigned wave. We can make these all these different shapes. I'm not going to go through every single one. You can kind of go through those if you'd like to. And we have different alt draw, right? So if we hold down alt, it does different things. So right now it's on a race, right? So if we hold down alt and we go left click, it's going to erase these values, right? If we go back, it kind of brings it back, which is really cool. And then we have scale, if we alt and we kind of, you know, want to scale this right here a little bit like that. And then we have shift if we want to move things over a little bit like that. There's a lot of customizability in here. Then we have warp, which is kind of interesting. And then over here, the last one we have fine, which is kind of just slowly adjusting things. If we want a little bit of fine tune control over here, we can reverse stuff. We can invert stuff, randomize, soften, which is kind of just making it a little bit smoother, right? Normalizing it if we'd like to make it unipolar straighten reset quantizing and then here we can always select the amount of steps that we'd like which is basically 10 or something like that we can always do that here as well if we'd like to 24 go to 12 and it'll change it here but yeah there's a lot of stuff you can do in this menu here and then we can lock this as well if we'd like to change presets so yeah this is a very cool modulator here this mod mapper because you're kind of just really have so much control over modulation which is really cool about the synthesizer as far as this mod mapper the xy and the modulation matrix modulation matrix there is a lot that you can do in the synth so yeah hopefully you learn something play around this mod mapper is actually a very very cool modulation source so yeah see you in the next video